Not only was it rain today, but Joseph, that uh, fall wind yeah. kicked up. It sure did, yeah. Seems like we're in October already. Yeah. We still have at least a few more days of summer left, but... <laughs> What's that? Yeah, it doesn't feel like it, it at all. Like. Yeah, will we get some dry time in? Eventually, I want to start us off with our Port of Kalama camera because just about 10 minutes ago, we had a big downpour going on, and now it's dry. But you can see the ominous clouds there in the distance. But this is just a good idea of what the evening is going to be like, where we have some rain showers come on in, then they pass, and then behind it, maybe some dry time. Temperatures at 60 degrees. This is, again, a Port of Kalama camera. Lovely shot there. You can see that sun and that light trying to beam and fight its way through those clouds, but it's pretty overcast for some locations. So now that rain is off to the east there. Uh, it was, again, about 10 minutes ago right over the river. Now it's all trucking off to the northeast, so still pretty wet over Portland right now. Dry, but if you're on the southwest, it's starting to roll on in right there towards Tigard. Um, 26, the south edge there, uh, it'll eventually be pretty wet if you're going to be traveling that direction here shortly. We'll continue to move down to the southwest towards McMinnville and into areas of Yamhill County and wine country there, and those showers will be in and out for you folks too for this evening. And guess what? We still have a front that will eventually move on through, triggering more rain as we head into tonight. You can see that here along the Oregon coast. This is a pretty strong line. This is going to be producing heavy rain, intense for moments, maybe a little bit of lightning, possibilities for um, some hail as well. And most of these will continue to move towards uh, the coast range, then eventually into the Willamette Valley for tonight. So tonight is going to be a bit wet. Uh, this system right here, I mean, we've been seeing two day systems. It sends the front on through. It's really active. It's cool. It's wet. It's breezy. And then the second day we have scattered thunderstorms and cool air in place. And that's what's going to happen tomorrow. But notice the lightning still flaring on up. And uh, we will continue to watch that uh, as we head into the evening hours. Of course, you can find me on social media. Recorded rain over the last 11 days. 15th was a record breaking day. 13th, almost a quarter there on the 10th. About nine out of the last 11 days, uh, we've had some sort of measurable rain. And it is going to continue uh, to be a bit wet for at least one more day, as I mentioned. Current wind speeds about 15 miles per hour here in Portland, down towards Salem, a little bit stronger towards Corvallis, Eugene. Here is around Lebanon. We'll probably have some gusty wind, but where that front has already passed on through, it is slowing down just a bit. So once that front finally gets through your region, the wind will calm down and become a little more tame. All right, follow me along the rain and cloud forecast here as we go through uh, the 5 o'clock to 6, 7, 9 p.m. hours here. Uh, still very active, very scattered as well. So this isn't going to be a large forest of precipitation or anything like that. It's going to be very spotty. We get into early tomorrow morning. The roads will probably be wet. Be prepared for a little bit of rain. Largest chance for that is going to be further south of Portland, but the kids should be prepared for that when you send them off to school. And then the dry air moves in fast late Wednesday night into Thursday. And you know what that means. A nice dry day. Temperatures will be slightly warmer in the lower 70s. We'll get your seven day forecast here if you want to start making some plans for Friday. Expect maybe a couple morning showers there. Saturday looks dry. Sunday looks a little wet. Um, but then hopefully we're on our way to some warmer and drier weather. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, it would be right? kind of kind of that fall dry weather. I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we yeah. miss that because we want to go to the apple orchards and yeah. the pumpkin, pumpkin patches. patches yeah. Yeah. Like a nice transition, not right. just like here we go. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. Yeah.